Hi. I'm working this morning in the day job, which I don't do very much these days. Fitting carpet. I like to keep my hand in. And I ache now. Uh, now, um, while I've still some energy left before I plonk out in front of the tilly, I've uh, got this uh, one I did I mean, last week, Dartmoor. Uh, yeah, I quite like it. I'm going to try and do something different with the sky, but keep the general general effect of of the uh, landscape. Oh, let's come a bit more off that. Uh, that'll do. Right. Okay. So I'm working at probably about thirty, thirty-five degrees to the vertical. So with my palettes, I've got uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint grey, and burnt sienna. So I'm going to wet the paper all over. Trying to keep the water off me for tablet. Unless that soaks in, the paper will dry. Well, it won't dry, the, 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 the water will soak into the paper and the, the paper will expand and then we can reclip it. So, some nice burnt sienna in the sky. We can modify it as we come down. A bit of alizarin in there. Alizarin is more saturated colour than than the uh, the sienna. All right, okay. So let's put in some nice clouds now. Over there. I'm going to mix blue and Payne's grey with some alizarin. But I want the blue for the reason. There's a reason for that. So let's uh, let's put in some good rich clouds in there. So I'm, uh, at the moment, I'm painting uh, low horizons because if I sell some pictures in the corner gallery in Castleton Beaches. I'll have to have reserves, with, uh, and the stipulation is 70% sky. So let's get a nice bit of dark, dark in there. The other side of the clouds. Don't want it too streaky. And then we'll put in some distant tours. Tours, T-O-R-S. Like stone outcrops in the moor. Oops, I would. Oh, God, yeah. Right, turn that up. Okay. So, as that starts to dry, we'll put, put, the, put some distance in, but I'm using those colours. So. Let's start there, put, a, put the distant hills in. Various colours, add some sienna in there. Clean the brush. A bit of lemon yellow in there now and some dirty yellow. It all merges while the paper's wet. A bit closer. A bit of burnt sienna, I think. Just making it up as I go along. Now some pure, purer colour. You need to make sure that you've got the right amount of water on the haken, only 
experience will tell you what that should be by actually doing it. So, so I've got some nice warmer colours in it. And I'll put some fields in and some more rocks and stuff. Yes. And I want to put some trees. Now there's about 70% sky, isn't it? I reckon anyway. Okay, so let's put in some some of those sky colours in, in the rocks. Uh, let's put some stuff here. Got the trees. Not a lot of trees on Dartmoor. The bits of it, but generally it used to be forest, it used to be oak woods I believe, and they were chopped down to make the Armada. Uh, make the feet to beat the Armada under Elizabeth the First. I do believe. Alright, uh, I'm going to put some shadow area in here. It's a very, very lovely area. Exeter on its edge, the principal town in Devon. All right, let's do some some rocky stuff. Not a lot. Just making this up as I go along. Oops, sorry. Try to make it so that you've got some dark underneath the rock, so it looks three-dimensional. You can always paint shadow back if you need to, but I like to do it this way. I don't know in paint scissors, which is lovely, but we all paint differently. None of it is that easy to believe you me. Might make it look easy, but I can tell you there's a years and years have gone into this. And I wish I was better than I am. Just put in some texture in. This could be a bit of stone walling or just outcrops. And then we'll put in some some field mixes. Oh, that's damp just. Very gently put in, but don't want it really hard. There's the fields. It's all farm now. Parts of the wild. It's a national park. But man has been all over this. So what it is is largely a result of human in, in, endeavour. I was going to say interference, but that's not what I meant. Well, let's get these little dry stone walls in without showing any detail there. Just showing lots of fields. Oh no, that's darker. Bluey. Oh, for those of you that follow Freddy, Freddy's my kitten. I'm going fast now. He uh, he's very friendly with next door's cat, who's a young tortoiseshell lady, beautiful cat, and she's showing him the ropes, and he's learning a lot from her. They bundle endlessly. Her being older exerts her authority but they play fight and bundle and Freddie does lots of somersaults and hit over heels and lays on his back, paws in the air, inviting her to, to, to come on. I don't want to say as if I'm putting too many pretty, pretty patterns in but 
But we just it's all detailing. Right, okay. I want to put some heavier trees in now. They're just just like hedgerow trees. Yeah, just things like that. Dog barking, probably seen Freddy. Just warm, warm colours here in the foreground. Okay, so I'm just adding texture, just bits of interest, nothing more than that. I'm going to put in a footpath with some figures in there. Okay, I'll need to dry that off a little bit. So take your headphones off if you're listening on headphones. Whoops. Well, the reason I'm drying that off, well, one of the reasons I'm drying it off, so I want to lift out a path. So, let's get this inch brush here, and oh, well, that won't be seen, but. Uh, Something like that. Okay. I'll put some uh, banks around that. some hedgerows in. Alright, so I can put some figures in there. Well, let's do some nice rich greeny, greeny stuff. Thick in here on top of those bits of stone that I lifted out with a card. Texture here and I do love burnt sienna and ultramarine. I think it gives a lovely, lovely warm dark. No more detail than that, really. That's the end of the hike today. Now, uh, the figure brush, the little sable thing. Plenty of water on it, don't get too, too heavy. So we'll put some figures well, coming down the track here. Back there, stick and 
figure in red, lady in red, or someone in red. Alright, so we'll put a bit of shadow in. Woo! I'll do. That's all we need. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm a bit cramped here. I'm trying to sort out the best place for this tripod. I would like a boom of, of some sort, but nothing's forthcoming yet. Right, that'll do. Let's start more. Not my version of it. Doesn't exist in reality, but the impression is there. So I'll uh, put it in the mount, in the blue mount. It's a good colour, this blue. It's not a bright blue for the mount, so it doesn't compete. But what I tried to do here was to get the sky colours into the distant landscape. It's a little bit uh, fuzzy there, but then there's a lot of water on the paper. So there we are. So, so there we have. A similar one to what we've done before but there's a bit more unity between the sky and the landscape have a go at these sort of things yourself don't uh, don't uh, be a slave to photographs make your own version of it the fact that it doesn't exactly exist does not matter at all we're making paintings rather than photographs so i hope you enjoyed that that's all today because i'm going to go go television watching now and put my feet up I'll zoom in, show you this. Tomorrow is another day. So there we are. Just a Dartmoor impression. Dartmoor, Exmoor, Bodmin, Bodmin. Yorkshire Moor. Peak Districts in Derbyshire. Welsh Hills, Welsh Coast, Cornwall, beautiful. Right, okay, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.